and welcome back to Wondering Wild. It's Misunderstood Monday and we're going to talk all about the star-nosed mole. Now, the star-nosed mole, or moles in general, are seen as a nuisance because they tend to burrow through your yard, even your garden, and they kind of make a mess of things. But, moles are really unique animals and there's a lot more to them than just being a nuisance that digs up your garden. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about that. I've chosen the star-nosed mole because it's my favorite mole. I mean, we could really talk about any mole species and all the mole species, but the real question is, why would we do that when we could talk about one with a star-shaped nose? I mean, these are the questions you have to ask. Okay, so the star-shaped mole has the scientific name Condylura cristata, and it's found in Canada and Northeast United States in kind of wet lowland areas. The most easy identifying feature for the star-nosed mole is its star-shaped nose. Now I'm not sure what you're picturing, I mean it's not like literally a star, it's actually a bunch of kind of fleshy projections on its nose. And there's actually exactly 22 of these on every star-nosed mole. And these fleshy projections, or tentacles, or whatever you like to call them, are covered in hundreds of Eimer's organs, which are a sensory organ found on the nose of many mole species. One star-nosed mole can have up to 25,000 of these Eimer's organs on their nose. Now, the star-nosed mole has thick, dark, almost black fur that's water repellent and very large feet that are help it in digging and moving dirt aside as well as swimming. It also has a relatively large tail that's actually used for a fat storage area to help it through the spring. Now, star-nosed moles are about 6 to 8 inches in length and weigh about 4 ounces. Now, the really interesting thing about a star-nosed mole is it has 44 teeth. Yes, something that is 6 to 8 inches long should not have 44 teeth. That's a lot of teeth, right? Why does it have so many teeth, Allison, you may ask? And I say I don't know. Actually, I do know, but it's still terrifying that a mole has 44 teeth. Like, you would think something as blind as a mole would, I mean, be relatively harmless, right? No, 44 teeth. Now, the reason it has these teeth, in case you were wondering and just saying, Allison, stop freaking out. Have you ever even seen a star-nosed mole? No, I have not, and that's okay with me. I'll look at pictures, because 44 teeth. Now, back to what I was saying, you know, the reason for these 44 teeth, and that's because they eat insects and crustaceans and all sorts of things that may have a hard outer shell, and therefore that needs crushing with their 44 teeth. Now, we talked about these fleshy projections on the end of their nose. These are used to detect food by touch, because, as I said, moles are pretty much blind. I mean, they live underground. Why do they need to see? Look, dirt. Look, more dirt. Yay. No, instead they have these little organs. And the Imer's organs help them to determine what it is they've run into. Sometimes that's something to eat. Usually, though, that's more dirt. Now, what's actually very unique about this mole is it can actually smell underwater. And it does this by blowing out bubbles that basically hit, run into, envelop the thing that they wish to smell, and then they re-inhale these bubbles and smell them. Now, like I said, this mole lives in wet lowland areas and it likes to dig and burrow through the dirt in shallow ditches, and it will also burrow in the ground underwater. Whereas smelling underwater might come in handy. Do you see my point? I hope so. Now, that's really all I have about the star-nosed mole, and I think the most important thing we've learned here today is 44 teeth. 44 teeth. Now, if you learn any number, you really should learn 22 fleshy projections on their nose, because, I mean, that's on every single mole, but also 44 teeth. Guys, I'm really hung up on this, and I just can't get over the fact that star-nosed moles have 44 teeth. I mean, 44 teeth just really, I'm hung up on it. And you know, I think about the fact that we talk about the possum having a lot of teeth, the most of any North American mammal at 50. Okay, let's talk about the fact that possums are this big, moles are this big, and they only have six teeth different. I mean, I think we're looking at the wrong creature here when we say too many teeth. I'm, I mean, I just have a newfound respect for the mole and it's 44 teeth. 
So before I say 44 teeth one more time in this video, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. So as always, those sources are found in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this slightly strange, slightly weird, misunderstood Monday. And I hope you too have learned that moles have 44 teeth. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. And as always, stay wild and never stop wondering.